Hello everybody, Robert Bodden with Rung Neck Decoy. Hey, I'm excited to let you know that I'm, I'm down here in San Diego. I'm in the hotel room and I've got the brand models that we've manufactured and we did the, the soft launch in Utah on. So a year ago, this time of year, I was um, showing you a little bit the prototypes that I had handmade and just hadn't quite got to this uh, this stage yet. So now on this hunt, we're going to be hunting over the blow molded plastic models, and we've got a rig of five rung neck brand decoys that we're going to take down there and hunt over. So we'll give you as much uh, footage as we possibly can of um, the decoy functioning in the water and the movement that it provides. So I get into the hotel room. <clears throat> grab the newspaper <laughs> and this is what I pick up so you know us waterfowlers we don't care we'll go through anything to go down and get after the ducks and geese right uh, I'm sure we'll be okay no problem there so um, wanted to get into the uh, setup on how we're we're going to be shooting and, and what our lineup is so um, I've got my um, 686 silver pigeon and so on the bottom barrel I've got a medium range Carlson's black cloud choke and on the top I've got the long range Carlson's black cloud choke so we've got that set there and what we're going to do is on the bottom barrel we're going to be shooting acid okay so what I mean by that is I got a toxic shell here so it's a lead shell um, when you go down to Mexico, if you don't take your own firearm down there, they're, you're going to shoot their Berettas, their autos that they got down there. And they're going to hand you a couple of boxes of shells, whatever you're going to shoot for the day. And they're all lead. So there's no regulation down there. So I'm kind of uh, throwing it back to when I was a kid and I was shooting acid out of my gun every day of the week <laughs> and so it's going to bring me back to those days a little bit doing that and I just wanted to see how these are going to pattern on the uh, brand. But what I'm shooting is um, Prairie Storm and it's in a 3 inch 1350s ounce and 5.8 and number 6 shot so I don't know about that man. I, I wanted to go a little bit heavier but where I was at they just didn't have them in a heavier load so I'm going six there to see what happens and then follow up shot will be my old standby which is a three inch black cloud in the BB 1450 ounce and a quarter this is my go-to shell for the geese um, almost every goose that you see going down that I shoot is shot with that shell so we'll have that set there and then for the uh, for the cripples, I had quite a good buy on uh, Rio uh, shotgun shells. So I've got uh, 1400s here, ounce and a quarter, two inch shot, or I mean number two loads in a three inch shell. And that's what I'm going to use to take down the cripples out on the open sea. So we'll see what happens with that lineup and looking, looking forward to that uh, hunt tomorrow. Okay, the um, other topic that I wanted to just talk about a little bit is um, from time to time I get asked, uh, how come you're always taking a over and under out to hunt ducks and geese with? Um, why don't you go to some of the autos? And um, Everybody has their style of shooting. And for me, I was never that great on that third shot. So two shots for me is good enough. It, it kind of slows down my tempo, you know, depending on the type of shot that I'm shooting. Um, it just, I don't know, it just goes along with the way I shoulder a gun. But um, there's one aspect to this setup that I can't give up, and it's that barrel selector right there. So that gives me the ability to recognize a shot coming in and I can go ahead and on the fly I can pick either that bottom barrel or that top barrel and that's paramount to me so I, I don't think I'd ever be able to give that up so I'm stuck on an over and under for that reason and um, been shooting this thing since uh, 2001 
and uh, hasn't missed a beat. So, knock on wood, man. Hope it hope it does its thing tomorrow on all the brand geese that I'm hopefully going to see. So, um, stay tuned. Let's see how this hunt goes. Thank you. Matt and Cameron coming back from their day three Brant hunt um, using the rung neck decoy. What'd you think, guys? Loaded. A lot of live action. It worked great. Did you have waves that were working them? Yep. yep. Pretty cool. Put, them in, put one in preening, uh, the other one about mid, and uh, I just noticed the birds worked a lot better today. That's great. So. Awesome. That's great, man. Glad you guys were able to get them out there and test them. And you had a great shoot, obviously. So thanks, guys. Pleasure hunting with you. All right.
Bueno, estoy aquí con Rene y Alfredo. I'm here with my guides out here in Baja, Mexico, and they've got the rung neck decoy in their hand. So, Rene, Alfredo, what do you guys think? ¿Cómo, cómo trabaja ese decoy? Bueno, mi participación en esta, en esta toma de protesta es la siguiente. Tenemos aquí en San Quintín aproximadamente alrededor de 45 años cazando los gansos. Al principio los decoys que traíamos eran de madera, luego fueron de corcio, luego de plástico. Y ahora mi amigo Roberto trae de nuevo material. Eh, sí. Y por lo siguiente, pues estamos convencidos de que si sí están trabajando, trabajan muy bien, si sí jalan a, a los gansos. Y pues vamos a seguirlos probando, vamos a seguirlos probando. Y a ver mi amigo Alfredo, ¿qué sabe decir? A ver, Alfredo. Es un idiota, no tiene mucha, <risa> mucha repertorio, pero no. vamos a ver las ideas. No, las él, ideas tiene. él tiene mucha experiencia. ¿Qué, qué, qué? ¿Qué, qué? <risa> no, pues lo, el poco que yo alcancé a ver, pues sí, jalaron los gansos, de, pues, devolvían las manadas a, a los licores y sí jalaban bien. Entonces, qué bien. Estaban trabajando bien. Pues, gracias. La marea se, se movía muy bien. Muy bueno, gracias. Bueno, Mucho. Pues la conversación es hablar de los decoys, no hablar de las mareas. Mi amigo cascabelea mucho porque también aquí en San Quintín tenemos el problema de la gasolina. Como no tiene mucha gasolina, no habla muy alto. Está Pero bien, bueno, está, está bien, perfecto. Es Ese opinión me vale mucho, ¿no? Me, me hace como muy hacer feliz, el trabajo y, y puedo trabajar más duro. Y el próximo año, vamos a ver. Esperamos en Dios. Ok, muy bueno, bien. gracias. Hey everybody, um, I'm out here in San Quintín. I'm with Rene, my guide, and I just wanted to do a presentation to him. This guy has been awesome for me on my brant hunts. And uh, from day one, starting out with this uh, concept with the rung neck decoy, Rene's messed with him from the start. <laughs> and so I really appreciate it. So Rene, Gracias por todo el trabajo en estos últimos tres años trabajando con este ganso y el concepto y quiero presentarle con un par de este ganso, de ese señuelo y mucha suerte mi amigo. Alright. Esto me da un poco, la, un poco de ganas de llorar. Ahí está, muy no, bien. Gracias. Muchas gracias Roberto. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Ok. Y el último ganso de hoy, por la pura suerte, tenía la banda. Oh, Bandy Goose, green last band, one. Two yeah. bands. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, isn't that nice? Sí, sí, All perfecto. Right. Thank you. Appreciate Gracias, you. señor.